Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am very excited for this video, and I have a feeling that you're gonna be really excited about this video too. If you know me and you've been keeping up with my channel, you know that I have been spending a lot of money, stupidly, especially now that I did some research on tinted lip balms, specifically Dior, Estee Lauder, YSL. Mm -hmm. I wanted to feel less like a fool, and I want you to save your money. So I figured, why not merge the two feelings together to come up with an extensive list of dupes? So we're talking Estee Lauder dupes, YSL dupes, Dior dupes, total of 24 lip products. I went to Walgreens six or seven times for this video. I walked up and down the aisles to try and find products that were tinted lip balms that looked like they were similar colors or similar formulas. And you know how it is at the drugstore. Unfortunately, you can't swatch things. So it was a little difficult. There was a lot of trial and error, but I will say out of all the drugstore products that I tried, I think only one of them is a flop. If you know someone who is a lip lover, like these would make great affordable gifts. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop into it. I can't wait to share my like most hydrating on rotation lip products with you guys. I cannot lie to you. I feel a little overwhelmed by this video because I have so many lip products in front of me, but at the same time, I really, really cannot wait to share these finds that I did a lot of research to find. Okay. I'm talking like there were days that I put a high-end lip product on my upper lip and a lower-end lip product on my bottom lip. Sometimes the colors matched, which I'm gonna share, and sometimes the colors were totally different, but it was just about the formulas. And I cannot tell you how many times my husband like looked at me sideways because it was like, honey, are you wearing two different lip products? And the answer was yes. We do this for research, I do it for science. Changing the world here. Nude Venus by Pat McGrath. I absolutely love this lipstick. All the lipsticks that I'm gonna mention in today's video are definitely nude. There are a couple here and there that lean a little bit more berry, a little bit more red, but they are all pretty nude. Absolutely fell in love with these CoverGirl Clean Fresh Lip Balms. This is the Nude Venus lipstick that I just swatched. CoverGirl lipstick in Made for Peach. It's no cigar, but it's definitely similar. And then I don't know if you can see the one in the middle, Maybelline Baby Lips. I swatched in the middle and I wanted to swatch it because I just feel like the formula is really similar and all three of these again I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera have kind of a shimmer to them a mature shimmer it's not juvenile it's like a sheen like can you see that all three of them have a really pretty sheen to them. Out of all three of these, my favorite formula is definitely CoverGirl Clean Fresh. Dare I say, this is one of my favorite lip products that I have tried all year round. I love this and I do wanna be sure that I really capture the products and show you. So again, this is CoverGirl and Clean Fresh. It's just like a twisty top. If you watch my vlogs, you will know that I have worn this quite a few times because I can't stop talking about it. Maybelline Baby Lips. This is definitely more of like a clear shade. However, it's supposed to adjust to the pH of your lips. This is what it looks like. Very similar, the two drugstores, whereas Pat McGrath is more of a lipstick bullet. So I'm gonna take Nude Venus and I'm gonna put this on my upper lip. It's like your lips, but better. You put the peach one on the bottom. How beautiful are both of these. Definitely a little bit more peachy, definitely a little bit more pinky, but you can see they have that same sheer shimmery like jutes to the lips. I will say both of these products are very hydrating. I don't find that either one of them pick up the dry skin in your lips. If you're someone that has chapped lips, you know what I'm talking about in the winter when you have some skin lifting up off of your lips. Sometimes lip products can really exaggerate them. Neither one of these do that, but I will say that neither one of these lip products plump from within. And if you watch my channel, you know what I'm talking about. I love a lip gloss or a lip product that hydrates, which these are both hydrating, but it kind of like hydrates from the inside out and it kind of plumps lumps the lip and pushes the fine lines out so that it creates a smoother canvas. You can still see lines in my lips and I know this is very up close and personal, but I really want you guys to see what I'm talking about. This one I would say, the Pat McGrath one fills them in a little bit more, but again, I have other products in this haul that will really give you that kind of plump where it like pushes out. So similar, so natural. It just kind of takes your natural lips, juices them up. And I just can't get enough of either one of these, honestly, on repeat, the both of them. I bought this Estee Lauder lip balm during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty back in September. It retails for like $34. I love the packaging. It is this kind of like baby pink. I love that it has a magnetic closure. It says Estee Lauder. It's just bougie and it's beautiful. And I absolutely love it. The second that I swatched this, 
Does this make you think of anything that I've already swatched? It's kind of hard to see, but let me tell you, some of these lip products, when you put them on the lips, it just like transforms the color. Very, very similar to the Maybelline Baby Lips. Here's Estee Lauder and here's Baby Lips, and they are the same. I know this looks very lackluster, but I'm not kidding you when I tell you that they're beautiful. The both of them are absolutely beautiful and absolutely stunning. This one is also very similar. This was the dud of all the products that I tried. Wet n Wild is so damn cheap. This is the Wet n Wild So Pouty Sweetest Pick. Do these three. One, two, three. Not look like they're all the same damn thing. They could be in the same lip balm family. This one is very, very scented. I don't think any of the other ones are really scented. No, Pat McGrath is not scented. I don't think CoverGirl, not scented. And I love when things are not scented because we're gonna get to a very high-end lipstick that I love, but I also hate because it is so scented. No, none of these are heavily scented, any of the ones that I've mentioned. This Wet n Wild one, holy hell. It smells like strawberries. We have Estee Lauder. You can kind of see once they sit for a little bit, they kind of like warm up to your skin or your lips if you put them on your lips and then they start to change colors. So here's the Estee Lauder, Maybelline. And then here's Wet n Wild. So let's take what I have on my lips. Again, I have Nude Venus up top and Peach on the bottom. Are they not super similar? It's like crazy how similar they are. But I'm gonna take off the first dupe. Obviously I'm gonna try on the Estee Lauder. I can't even, and I hope it's translating, but can you see how it just adds a little bit of like a cool tone pink to my lip? Cause there's nothing on the bottom. I just want you to look at it on its own. How? freaking pretty and I'll zoom you in. Let's do the Maybelline baby lips on the bottom because I feel like I showed it to you in the first dupe but I didn't put it on. And this also gives a very cool toned pink effect. Do those not look like the same? The Estee Lauder does that kind of plumping thing that I mentioned that I like. It plumps the skin, it pushes the wrinkles out of my lips. Baby Lips is very hydrating, but I don't find that the Maybelline formula pushes the fine lines out of my lips. Can you see what I'm saying? Like this is just smoothing, it gives a smoothing effect. Whereas the Maybelline, you can still see the fine lines in my lips. Does that make sense? But how close does this do? Honestly, this Estee Lauder one is amazing. I love it. If I had to pick between the two, I would pick the Estee Lauder just because again, it pushes the fine lines out, but it's such a subtle difference that if you are not a lipstick fanatic like I am, I don't really think that you would notice the difference too much. But either way, I would buy this over and over and over again. I think that Maybelline is like, I love Maybelline. I'm looking at all the drugstore in this video and there's just so many good ones and this is so, so good. I highly recommend, but let's stop ooing and awing and let's move on because otherwise this video is gonna be 55 minutes long. Big shout out to one of my subscribers because she told me to try this. She told me, and, and let me tell you, she was right. I recently bought this Dior lip glow and I love the lip glow. It's beautiful. This is the first one that's not like a bullet or a chapstick. It's hydrating, it's plumping. It gives all the sheen and it's like a juicy jelly kind of lip oil, comfortable. It lasts a really long time on your lips but these NYX fat oils are amazing. These are better than the Dior. And I just, I really wanna show you the doe foot cause it's like the same. The Dior one's a little bit fatter, a little bit fluffier, but super similar. Like if you didn't have them side by side and you opened the NYX one, you would think, oh my God, that looks like Dior. They're so similar. So this is Dior and this is NYX. I love this. Can you see, here's Dior. And here is NYX. NYX is more pigmented. They're both a really beautiful light pink. However, Dior is more of a warm pink and the NYX is more of a cool toned pink. I have two shades. The one that I swatched for you, the pink one is called Mist Call. And this one is my favorite. This one is beautiful, Newsfeed. It's just not as fluid of a color. It kind of breaks apart. And I wanna just show you because we're here and this is a beauty channel and why not? And it is the most pigmented out of all of them, but the pigmentation breaks up a bit. You don't notice it on the lips. It's really not bad at all. But I would say if you're gonna go for a lip oil, maybe steer clear of this one, just because from my experience and my scientific research, it's just not as good as Mist Call. The Dior one, the NYX one, they last for a really long time. They hydrate the lips, they both plump the lips. They're very, very similar in formulation. I would say 
The NYX lip oils are a little bit thinner than the Dior one. So the Dior gives that kind of like beautiful jelly, like thicker texture. Whereas NYX is really nice, but it's just a little bit thinner. So I'm gonna put Dior on the top. And this has like a menthol-y scent to it. Really, really nice. And the Dior one tingles. The NYX one does not tingle. However, I find that they both do that plumping from the inside thing that I was talking about. And I'm gonna put on Mist Call just because I love this one a lot. They're both absolutely beautiful. You can definitely tell that my bottom lip, which is the NYX lip oil, is definitely more pinky, more pigmented than the top one. Dior does that menthol-y, like minty, like plumping. I would say the NYX one kind of feels a little tingly as well, but not as tingly as the Dior. I would save your coin on this, honestly. They look, it looks the same. Let me know your thoughts down below. If there's a comparison that I'm making that you don't think it really compares, I really wanna hear. I want this to be a conversation because again, in the name of research, let's talk about it. So I have to say, I think out of all of the dupes that I found today, like this one right here is the best dupe. This is a recent purchase. It is the NARS. It's a hydrating lipstick in the shade Breathless. I thought I was gonna love this color more than I am loving this color. But the second that I swatched this here it is it's like a peachy nude shade a color and formula that is very very close is the sephora brand lipsticks a little underrated if you ask me here's nars and here's sephora sephora is definitely a little bit more pinker but the formula guys is so freakishly similar it's like wild i would say like even when you put it on your lips they feel the same that's pretty damn close if you ask me like what do you think Sephora ones have a little bit more oomph to the pigmentation. See like the NARS, you can see through the NARS a bit more than you can see through Sephora ones. So if you are a pigmentation kind of gal, kind of guy, you just like to throw on a lip and you want pam, like pigment. I can go either way. Sometimes I like a lot of pigment. Sometimes I like a little bit of see-through. It really just depends on my mood. But just so you know, the Sephora one is a fraction of the price and gives a little bit more pigmentation. Let's take the lip oils off, but like how beautiful. Again, Dior and NYX. This is like the dupe of the century for me. And I would say like as they sit, Definitely the NYX one is more pigmented, but I don't think you would look at my lips and, and say to me, like, are you wearing two different lip shades? You know, ours up top because I just keep doing all of the higher end lips up top. Really pretty. I feel bad that I said that I don't love the color. I just thought it was gonna be a little bit more pinky than it is peachy, but mm, honey. These definitely tingle a little bit, the NARS ones. The Sephora ones don't plump from inside out. And we all know what I'm saying when I say that, right? It doesn't juice the lines, push them out. The Sephora one kind of does that thing where if you have dry patches on your lips, it kind of shows them and accentuates them. So any day where I'm gonna use these, I'll put a little bit of chapstick on my lips when I start to get ready. I'll do my makeup like I did my makeup today. Right before I go to put my lip on, I'll take a little lip scrubber, a silicone lip scrubber, and gently scrub my lips to take off any of the dead skin. It kind of just accentuates the chappedness of my lips. But I would say, again, the color is really similar. The bottom is definitely a little bit lighter, more of a nude than the NARS, but it's not far off. On the lips, the NARS, I don't know if you could see, but it kind of gives like a glossy kind of effect to the lips. That's like subtle. It's like more of a natural, kind of gloss. Again, it does that like plumping from within, whereas Sephora gives a sheen, but it like more sits on top. And I hope that that makes sense. Let me know, are you picking up what I'm putting down? Like the NARS one gives like a plump from within, whereas the Sephora one kind of gives a plump from a top. Does that make sense? Lawless Posey. I found a color that is a little similar. We already have talked about it. So I have a color dupe for this, but also I just wanna mention this because this is one of the best lip products I've purchased all year. This is Lawless. Again, this is in the shade Posey and it is a menthol minty lip balm that is just so beautiful. And like my swatch on my hand is not gonna do it justice. I swatched it and I was like, ew, no, I'm gonna hate this because I typically don't like a berry toned shade, but this on my lips just, oh my God, it is breathtaking. I unfortunately could not find a formula dupe for this. So do keep that in mind. I'm letting you know, but I will say that Mist Call, the NYX oil is very close in terms of the color. However, you're talking two very different formulas. You're talking a lip oil versus more of a solid balm. Here's Posey and here is NYX in Mist Call. Very similar. 
very similar. This, the moment it touches your lips, instantly like plumps them. It's like, I don't know what they did for this. It's just like my lips, but better. Mist Call on the bottom, just to show you the color comparison. Really similar colors, guys. Really, really similar colors. Both very much like throw it on your lips and go. You can get away with it. It's not too much pigmentation. It doesn't make a bold statement. Bottom oil, you can tell something's on your lips because it has that kind of sheen to it. Like it's like a glossy sheen. Whereas Lawless, my God, it does that kind of like plumping from the inside out. You would just think that my lips were just plump right? Like on the bottom, you can say like, oh, look at that. That's a pretty lip gloss. What are you wearing? Whereas up top, you might not even ask me what's on my lips. You just might think that I'm beautifully gorgeous and gifted in the lip department. Lawless is amazing. Like right now it's like tingling, but it doesn't hurt. Anything that I've mentioned that is plumping, it's not uncomfortable. It's very comfortable, but I just, I don't know. If you're saving some coin, the NYX lip oil, you should buy it regardless because it's that good. But the formula on this is unreal. It's unlike anything. And I just have to just reiterate it one more time before we move on. My least favorite purchase um, from Sephora, high end, my least favorite by far. These YSL Rouge Volupte, Volupte, I don't know how to say it. I'm not French. I just find that like the scent is a little overbearing. I forgot how scented that they were because I owned one a really long time ago, like when I was in my early 20s. They are just so citrusy. The first day that I put this on, it like hit me in the face. And I'm not gonna lie. Like I put it on my lips and it gave me a headache. I've since gotten used to the scent, which I don't think is healthy at all. Like I don't think getting used to a scent is okay, but my ass is gonna get used to it because I spent a pretty penny. I bought these both in a gift set. If you watched my Sephora haul, all unboxing. You will have seen these in there. I got both of these for $55. These individually retail for like 43 bucks. 150 here, definitely a peachier pink. And then I have 44, which is a lighter, more cool toned pink. I love 44. It's my favorite number, but also just the shade. I like 44 better than 150. Just my personal opinion. CoverGirl Clean Fresh. Oh my God. They are so good. So this is made for peach. I'm going to put it next to 150. Are those not super similar? So again, this is CoverGirl and this is YSL. CoverGirl is better than YSL. And I'm gonna tell you why in just a moment. I also got another color, Life is Pink. This is not a, a dupe match for the shade, but you know, if you are someone that likes a warmer kind of CoverGirl drugstore option, I would go for Life is Peach. But if you are more of a cool toned kind of pinky gal, I would do Life is Pink. So very, very similar. CoverGirl, the formula is better because I find that the CoverGirl formula is really hydrating and it gets into your lips and it hydrates them. Whereas I feel like YSL does that thing again where it glazes over your lips. It'll glaze over the chapness and it kind of brings chapness of your lips forward. You kind of see that flaky skin. 150 up top. It's just like the scent of this you can smell it and it's right by your nose and not only can you smell it but i'm like eating it like you can taste it made for peach not the same but really similar and again i didn't get the comment of are you wearing two different lips when i wore these two together upon first application the ysl looks better but if you give it a little bit you let the covergirl sink into your lips i think in the end like the covergirl one looks better and it does a better job in my opinion of really hydrating your lips and it lasts on your lips a lot longer than ysl and i just feel like for the price point of ysl go to the drugstore buy yourself the covergirl one is that not like the perfect the perfect dupe Save yourself the money, don't buy YSL, go get some CoverGirl. I love Charlotte Silvery's Lip Collagen Baths. It is a gloss, I have it right here, but they do that thing where they gloss over your lips, they sink into your lips, they have that menthol minty kind of feeling where they plump them and they push the lines and it just makes your lips juicy, delicious. Luckily for you, you can find these lip glosses at the drugstore. So this one is my favorite one. This is in Refresh Rose. It has a very light peachy tone to it. I'm gonna show it to you on the lips, but it just, it does a lot for the lips. And the way it picks up the light and it has that kind of like jelly gloss consistency, which is my favorite. The Maybelline Lifter Gloss, which I cannot stop talking about. I've talked about it for like a lifetime and a day. I have three of these. I lost two of them. They're somewhere. I just can't seem to find them. Here's Charlotte Tilbury. She has a little bit of pigmentation. And then here is the Lifter Gloss that doesn't have any color. It just has a little bit of sheen. And this is in the shade Ice. So Ice 
and refresh rose. I have the shade Stone in the Lifter Gloss and Stone definitely has more of a peachy undertone to it. I feel like that would be a really good color dupe. Again, I'm sorry I don't have it in front of me, but check out the Lifter Gloss in Stone. But go online, look at the colors. I am telling you, you could get Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss for like a fraction of the price. Go to the drugstore, buy these lip glosses. I want these lip glosses in every color. Charlotte Tilbury up top. Both have a very plumping effect. You can't even tell the difference between the two because they're both just such sheer, jutsy, beautiful lip glosses. Did my lips just not grow two sizes from these two lip glosses? Stunning, gorgeous, beautiful. You can tell the bottom is just as good as the top. Like the fine lines are gone, the way it picks up the light. Honestly, they feel the exact same. It's like I have the exact same lip gloss on both of my lips. I would say Charlotte is a little bit more tingly than the Maybelline one, but I think the proof is in the pudding. Why splurge? Why splurge? This looks like what my lips looked like when I was 20 years old. Bring me back. Oh, I don't need to be brought back because these glosses bring me back to life every day that I wear them. Honorable mentions. Now I did want to address this because I mentioned this in a vlog when I did a haul. I cannot find anything as amazing as this Dior 001. And when I bought this, I was gonna return it because I was like $40 for what? This is my favorite lip product out of all the lip products in this entire collection. I don't know what it is about this product, but it is just, it looks like a lot of nothing. It looks like a lot of absolute nothing, but it is amazing. It plumps the lips from within does the whole pushing the lines out oh god i knew i was gonna drop one lip product but it's okay because it's my least favorite one out of this entire haul and now she has fuzzies all over her when i did my haul in one of my vlogs one of my subscribers who i talk to all the time i love her so much she was like oh you can literally take wet and wild and put it in the dior packaging and no one would know and i wish that that was the case because these look so similar to one another do they not dior up top again this is zero zero one I just, that, the color, unbeatable. You feel it tingling, but it's not uncomfortable. It's just all the right things. It does all the right things. And now I'm gonna put this, which is a dud. This like fights with my lips, really scented. Can't be too mad at my battery because Clearly she's not the only one that is currently overheating. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm in my tank top. We're just gonna let it go. I don't wanna consider this a dupe because it's not. However, I'm wearing both of the lip products on my lips and my lips, it does, they look very comparable, but they're not. Just trust me, you could get away with this dupe, but I just, in my opinion, I cannot explain to you how I feel about this lip product. It is ridiculous. If you watched my Sephora unboxing quite a while ago at this point, like I said I was gonna return this because I was like, <laughs> $40 for what? $40 for what? I cannot explain to you the color. The lightest pink, you can't even see her, right? But on my lips, she plumps my lips, she pushes the lines out of my lips. She makes my Cupid's bow look huge. It's like chapstick on steroids. I cannot explain to you how much I am in love with this product. She lasts a really long time on the lips. She makes my lips look amazing. Just the experience of using this, and I know that sounds like so, like I'm making it up, but I'm not. I'm really not. Like this is overly scented. It doesn't glide across the lips. I don't feel like it hydrates them. It just really does nothing. If you look really closely, let's bring it on in. Let's bring it on in. It's not bad, but she just, she doesn't feel like she does anything. Whereas the Dior one, like I feel like you could just see the difference between like the plumping, you know? And then this, it just feels very waxy. It feels very like kiddish like. They're both like nothing. You look at my lips and you would not say to me, Fortune, are you wearing two different lip products? Because you just wouldn't. But again, I really can't consider this a dupe, like the Dior 001 lip glow. If you are thinking about it, like you should just buy it. Let's move on to honorable mentions. Now these are lip products that I am loving at the moment that don't necessarily have a dupe to them. Merit Baby, this is a lipstick, okay? This is the most kind of lipsticky lipstick I've mentioned in this video. Does that make sense? But it is a bullet lipstick. It, the, just the formula of this is clean beauty, glides across the lips the way that it hydrates them. It is so comfortable. If you're interested in anything Merit, they are having a sale. If you do shop the sale, I would also appreciate it if you would scroll down below and click my link. I make a little commission off of Merit the brand if you shop my link. So I would really appreciate it if you shop my link, shop during the sale and get a little bit of coin 
$29 off. I think it's 20% off, but these lips are amazing. I love them and I have it in baby and I also have it in a red shade. I don't really wear the red shade that much, just to be honest, I'm not a red kind of gal. But with the holidays coming up, I'm gonna try. Gucci Soft Sally Honey. There is nothing like this. I love the color. It's so beautiful, the way it picks up the light. I love the small little bullet, super hydrating, really comfortable. It's a beautiful everyday shade, has that kind of like peachy pink tone to it. Packaging, stunning, gorgeous, beautiful. I think like this is a great gift, a great stocking stuffer. It is expensive, but if you have someone that you know and adore and love in your life and you know they love a really juicy, kind of like hydrating lipstick, it's just beautiful to pull out of your bag. It is like a flex to pull it out of your bag. Color is just simply absolutely stunning. We all know Laneige sleeping mask. I have the pot next to my bed. I have it in sweet candy, but I recently purchased this. And when I tell you, when your lips are just no bueno, like they're cracked, they hurt, or if you're someone that's like me, I bite the shit out of my lips when I get nervous. It's just a nervous habit that I have. Like this is so good for on the go. It juices the lips. It gives that like, if you've tried the Laneige lip sleeping mask, it's literally that, but in a squeezy tube. It smells delicious, but it's not like overpowering. I highly recommend this. If you have dry lips in the winter, which I, who doesn't? And if you don't, like, honestly, I hate you. You need this. You need it. I recently tried this and this is so good. I honestly think that I like this better than my Laneige. Now, I would not say that this is a dupe because they're very different. It's like a jelly lip melt and I got watermelon. Don't love the packaging. Although you would think that it's annoying to get the lid on, but it does go right on. It's just a preference for me. I don't love this packaging, but it smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. And this formula, this is like a thick, like I wish you could stick your finger in here. Solid oil that just just fills in every crevice, every line. I've been pairing this with this the Lip Lifter by Maybelline and Ice, and oh my God, my lips look amazing. So this is so good. Laneige is thinner. They both plump the lips, but here's Laneige and Grapefruit. So you can see it's a little tinted, peachy undertone to it. Definitely juices the lips up, but then Tony, you can't even see Tony, but the way that Tony like nourishes the lips, my God, it plumps them just as much as Laneige. Laneige plumps them from the inside out definitely gives that nourishing but you can see Laneige on the lips more so than you can see Tony they both last a decent amount of time but Tony lasts longer and I just think because it doesn't sit on top Laneige does sink in but it also sits on top as well Tony like sinks in and like settles and makes himself at home home and I highly recommend it. Again, guys, I will link every single product that I mentioned in this video down below. If you enjoyed this video, or you know what, just give it a thumbs up because I spent a lot of time on this damn video, whether it was going to Walgreens and purchasing the products, whether it was my research to figure out which one was the best dupe for what, give this video a big thumbs up because I deserve it. But also like if you give it a thumbs up, it just helps me to know that you're interested in videos like this. So I'll be sure to do more drugstore kind of dupes for you. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell before you leave. I had such a fun time. Let me know in the comments if you're going to buy any of the products that I mentioned today or if you're going to try and see if the dupes are just as good as I think they are. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you so, so much for joining me and I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.